So if you get asked to solve a, it's called a literal equation, so it's kind of like a formula. So solving a formula for a different variable, we're just going to use our appropriate order of operations to isolate the new letter. So let's start with this first one, A equals L times W. So this is the formula to calculate the area of a rectangle. So area equals length times width. So let's say we wanted to solve for length. So since the length and the width are attached to each other with multiplication, to undo that, I would divide. So I would want to divide the right side by W because the W over W would cancel. That would leave the L all by itself just like I want. But if I divide the right side by W, I have to divide the left side by W. So over here on the right, remember they cancel. L is by itself, just what I wanted. So L equals A over W. So you want to look how the different parts are attached to the letter that you're looking for. Okay, so let's do the next one. So this is the formula for the area of a triangle. So area equals one half times base times height. And let's say we wanted to solve for the height. So we want to get the H all by itself. Okay, so now we have to think, how do I get rid of everything else? And we're going to go ahead and do it in two steps. So first, let's peel off the B. So everybody on the right side is multiplying and dividing, which is good. Okay. So actually, let's get rid of the 1 half first. So let's think about what I would have to do on the right side to get rid of that 1 half. And you might think, well, just divide by it. Okay, I could, but watch what happens if instead, I'm going to copy the whole problem down here. What if I multiplied the right side by 2, and if you want, you could make it 2 over 1. What happens on the right side? And I'll go ahead and put my 2 over 1 here on the left so I don't forget. So the 2 over 1 times the 1 over 2, right, those are reciprocals, so when they multiply, it becomes 1. So now the 1 half is gone, and I am at 2a equals b times h. Remember, I wanted to get h by itself. Now I have b times h, so I'm going to get rid of the b by dividing both sides, because I have to do the same thing to both sides, by the b. Here they go canceling on the right. h is by itself, just like I wanted. So h equals 2a over b. All right. So here is the formula that converts between degrees Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius. So F equals 9 fifths C plus 32, and we want to solve for C. So that would let us convert then between the other way. If we knew Fahrenheit, it would tell us Celsius. So first thing we're going to do is isolate the term with the new variable in it. So that means I've got this plus 32. I need to get rid of that. Or what I also will say is I need to move it to the other side. So to get rid of a plus 32, what I'm going to do is subtract 32. So another way you can think about that, it's the entire term of 32 that I'm moving. And if I move an entire term, I do it with addition or subtraction. So to get rid of the 32, I would subtract. So now my left-hand side is going to be F minus 32, and the right-hand side is 9 fifths times C. So I'm trying to get to my C. So let's go ahead and get rid of the 5 first. So to do that, right, it's in the bottom, so I'm going to multiply the right side by 5 over 1. So I have to multiply the left side by 5 over 1 as well. And my voice is going up, because notice my left-hand side has two terms on it. I have the F and I have the minus 32. Both of those need multiplying by that 5. So I'm going to wrap parentheses around it so that I don't have to distribute. Okay, let's go back over here and we'll clean up that right side by canceling the 5s. So now, coming up and over a little bit, I have 5 times F minus 32 equals 9C. So then to get rid of the 9, I would divide the right side by 9 and the left side by 9. On the right, they cancel. Gets me the C all by itself. And on the left, 
you can either write it how I have it left here, so 5 times f minus 32 in the numerator, 9 in the denominator, or that 9 can kind of scoot over here to the left and become a 5 ninths times f minus 32. So that would let us convert, if we knew the degrees Fahrenheit, into degrees Celsius. Okay, last example, y equals mx plus b. This is the equation of a line, and we want to solve for x this time. So again, you're going to isolate the term with the x in it first. So this b, I'm going to get rid of that entire term. It's a positive b, which means I need to subtract b so that they add to 0. And if I do it to the right, I have to do it to the left, exact same thing. So y minus b stays y minus b equals m times x. Trying to solve for x, so I need to get rid of the m. It's m times x, so to get rid of that, to break that bond, I would divide. So divide both sides by m, and they will cancel. So now I have my x by itself equals y minus b over m.